Welcome everyone to another great episode of the Puff Dream Talk podcast in our newly organized and redesigned studio office. Uh, your host, Conrad Schubach here. Dylan Wilson. Hilton Kill. And George Abaij. If it was a live episode, we would be like two hours late. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Organizing well, here. Totally worth it. Totally worth it. It feels a lot more roomy yeah, around exactly. here. My goodness. Yeah. So much room for activities. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And what activities should we have in here? Uh, we'll, we'll take that off air. Anyways. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> No, it looks really nice. You you guys put in the hard work today. That was uh, I could tell you guys were busy all day today. Oh man, so. it, it was difficult. But. It, I think you guys are feel better too, right? Don't you think? I think so. I think, so. I think it's gonna be better for work. So I mean, work wise, yeah. you know, it's, it's, I think uh, it's gonna be better for work. I think so. I think uh, easier. Even though we just organized, everything is everything is the same, you know, play, oh my, every, every, everything we had in here before is still here. Yeah. It's just moved around, so. Sometimes that's all you need, kind of a new feng shui. Freshen it up a little bit. Probably mm -hmm. that's all we did, a feng shui, because this is, the table now is centered. Um, mm -hmm. All the corner table, the all corner desks are kind of aligned, so everything's pretty good. So. Awesome, well hey. Uh, cheers to the new new layout to the studio. Yeah, cheers, gentlemen. Uh, should we talk about our cigars that everyone's smoking just really quick? Because uh, I don't think we've ever reviewed these cigars before, and they look. Uh, I've reviewed this one, which is La Roma de Cuba. Wow. So that's a traditional one. Classic. Um, that one has not been reviewed. See it on there. It's the Diesel Wicked Torpedo. Has not been reviewed, but it's nice. We will. That's that's the one that we are planning on doing a review. Yeah, we still have a couple more. This it's one spicy is spicy peppery. Mm -hmm. This one is a Cavalier Geneve, recommended from Ian Harvey from a smoke, a Smokers Happy. Welcome Can I make Harvey. that? Yeah, just a, so he suggested that. And as I said to you, I, I like going there because I say, he, I'm very specific, I want to smoke for one hour, a small Robusto or something smaller. And you know, you just give him like three or four characteristics, he gives you exactly what you want. Right. One hour for you, George, is like a uh, church hill or something. <laughs> <laughs> you smoke fast. Yeah. <laughs> so. But, enjoy but show off that cigar because yeah, uh, it's exactly. actually a uh, very interesting characteristic. There is, there's a, was a gold, golden lasagna? Uh, gold, gold leaf. Gold, yeah, gold leaf, right? And it's still there, actually. It's burning. I, mean, yeah, I don't I actually don't know what it means. That's pretty cool, man. Yeah, That's I should have. pretty cool. <laughs> Isn't it? <laughs> I'm smoking the gold. Yeah, so. Yeah, I feel like that. Another one of George's flexes around here. Yeah. Oh, come on. Yeah. It's not a flex, it's man. It started early today. Yeah. 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 It wasn't me, this is right? record time. Five minutes of the yeah. podcast and George is already a, flexing. Yeah. yeah. It's just super enjoyable, as I mentioned. Like, um, it smelled really good. Yeah, the, the smoke, too. Yeah. It's dense. It's still looking like one piece. I like that. It's a gordito. Right, ah, just a tiny one. Gordito. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, so I like that. That's good. Well, good. Looks nice. We'll have to review that uh, another day. So what, what are we going to talk about today? As you explained that, I'm going to turn this thing on because I need to... Oh. Fell off all the gold. Yeah, yeah. All the gold, oh, around the gold is still there. Oh, ah, there you go. <laughs> Uh, so there's a couple of topics that we wanted to discuss today uh, to catch our viewers and our puffers, drinkers, and talkers, catch up with some of the topics that uh, worldwide events that have been happening. Uh, obviously, one of the biggest things was World War III possibly happening. I mean, that was um, some pretty intense uh, moments in Israel after, after Iran decided to retaliate after what Israel did by destroying one of their embassies, attacking, killing some of their military generals. And uh, wasn't it in the same week that two of them, an American citizen also was killed? Yes, yes, yes right. so an American yeah. citizen was killed. 
and that attack. Really, uh, I'll get into, I mean, there's a lot of tinfoil hat conspiracy theories to this because... We got tinfoil. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, and, and I mean, in a, <laughs> the team we, we have, we'd have to bring yeah. them out because, I mean, why would Israel attack Iran? I know Iran is a huge Russian, you know, ally, and then obviously the, the proponent of Hezbollah and a lot of terrorist groups that happen in Iran. Why in, why now? Right. Exactly. Why, why now? Why you're, now? You're, you're attacking Palestine. You're break. You know. You're doing all of your your uh, wartime efforts in Palestine. Your neighbors right there, and then all of a sudden you destroy an embassy in Iran just out of the blue. Seems really strange. And then obviously Iran retaliated and shot well over three hundred rockets and missiles. Uh, Israel's Iron Dome was able to deflect all but six, six or eight. Um, so 99% of everything that was shot at the Iron Dome, it was able to deflect. But the six or eight that went through were hypersonic missiles. And Israel didn't even know that these things were coming until it already destroyed an aircraft hangar. And, uh, and who started it? Who, who did the first? Well, so that's what we were we were discussing. So Israel started it. Israel attacked. Israel started it? That's what we're saying is the conspiracy theory part of it is or the understanding of like what the hell provoked this type of outlash and and escalation. Uh, so Israel bombed one of Iran's embassies, killing a military general, okay, yeah. an American citizen okay. and stuff. And, and then, then Iran, Iran retaliated. And re Iran re retaliated yeah. with this attack. Um, which they said, okay, we've, you know, for what you did, this is our force. If you do something like that again, we're going to step it up. But to the point of those six or eight rock hypersonic missiles that did get through, um, who supplied those to Iran? Oh, that's what in the discussion now. That is part of the discussion because... So they build it? Uh, nobody thinks so, right? No. They don't have the technology. No. China or Russia? There you go. So either... So uh, it's obviously Chinese or Russian hypersonic What about uh, North Korea? Would that be in the mix as well? I, I, I they did I a lot of I listened show to a couple, last couple of years ago. They did. They have. But I don't think they've done anything political-wise to show solidarity towards Russia, China, Iran, or any of any other countries. Okay. So I think it's just those were Russian or Chinese provided missiles and it, it really showed the flaws within that Iron Dome. You can, you can advertise 99% but those six or eight coming in can destroy pinpoint accuracy mm -hmm. and the Israeli government had no idea until it was already destroyed. What is speed that? Yeah. Caving, do you know? Thousands of miles per hour. Wow. Yes. Their radars couldn't pick it up. It happened but so fast. I see, I've seen and I heard a couple of different news, you know, from mm -hmm. different sources and saying that one of the reasons Israel provoked that initially is because what what is his name? The Prime Minister, Noah Tu. Mm -hmm. Right? So um, he he's been in power for a long time and now his popularity is below twenty percent. So he needs, he, and he was the face of safety for um, for the Israeli for over 20 years. So it, a lot of that was to deliver this, you know, uh, if I, because there are new elections coming, and he says, if there are new elections, we don't know what's going to happen to our country. So uh, this is one of the things is for optics and Israel, and, and then Iran also have to needs to be careful with the optic the, you know the optics inside come on if the you know if the embassy there it's exploded what are you going to say internally how, how many what is the population of iran a couple million uh, iran does iran it, yeah uh, millions of people live millions, right? yeah, yeah, yeah exactly yeah. millions right so you have you know you have to say something you have to respond but now the only problem is how are you going to respond to this, right? So the uh, the other nations, because without 
without the, the Saudis, without the, the Jordan, the Spain, uh, American, uh, many other uh, defensive si systems, Israel would have a lot of more losses. They all helped. And also, uh, did you hear, I don't know if you heard about that, but Iran, have been, I, I, Iran has been saying for a long, for a couple of day, weeks, I think, they've been saying that they would launch it. So why would they say that in advance? Have you heard? Have you heard anything about that? Mm -mm. No. 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 What, how? What did they say hours before they launched it? Why did they say they would launch it? Well, I think it, it, it's it's one of those things where it's obviously not a an attack to provide or to destroy things, but a an attack to weaken mm -hmm. their Iron Dome defense system. There was yes. one article that said them defending and shooting down all of those rockets and missiles and drones a lot of them were dro drones that came through cost israel over a billion dollars oh wow so in the span of effective a, yeah. yeah so you 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 not bankrupt but you really financially hurt israel you now you have you put that extra stress on other allies i.e the u.s what is the united states going to do so Iran actually would have had already something planned. They wouldn't come up with a plan like that, you know. Well, their embassy was exploded, you know, like they have to probably, they, I, I imagine, honestly. They would have already a plan. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. Okay, oh, so yeah. if something like this happens, like, right? what is our yeah. counterattack? Yes. But they didn't want to, what I've heard also, they didn't want to escalate. They don't want it to ask like, no, they even said that, okay, for us, it's, we are even. Yes. And then Israel said, no, there's no, oh man, and our Congress here, good. You see, they, they all wanted the, the Israeli, um, right, so they, they are pissed, they're, they're pissed. Yeah. They, they truly believe they still have to retaliate back. So. So they started. They got retaliation and now they they have to re react. So and that's 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 the dividing line. Is I mean it's super unpopular. Obviously, discussing it is like why would Israel do something like that in the first place? Mm -hmm. In my opinion, it's like okay, I understand Iran's perspective. You destroyed this, we're going to retaliate with something, with some type of military force. Mm -hmm. Don't do it again. I, we're 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 calling it even. If you if you retaliate re retaliate to what we did, re retaliate. Gonna, yeah, then it's going to escalate, and we're going to bring in China and Russia and, and all of our that allies. That could become oh, that would actually become a world war. World War Three. Yes, it's been said for decades that the Third World War would start it's that looming. Region. Yeah, right? I think. Did you think? Did you, did you agree with me that it is hoving over here and there? But it's always there. The theory That's is been always, always there. Always in the media, you know, people concerned and talking about it. Yeah, I, I heard so. that when I went to Afghanistan. Yes, yeah. you guys are going to start World War Three and all this other stuff. So, it, it, it's been on the making, though, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. All this warfare. Well, there is no, there is no escaping from it, though. It's like that's what you know. People are used to. Yeah. Right. Not us, but you know, in that region, in a high hierarch hierarchy or whatever it's the name. Hierarchy. Well, it's, that's all they think about. It's well, and that's yeah. I heard that quite a few times when I was in Afghanistan. Was the Afghan people have never known unity, have never known peace, have never known uh, some of the other freedoms that other countries, you know, have. And it really is take for granted. It will times. obviously take for granted. I mean, I saw some stuff out there that's like, Jesus Christ, the way they treat their women and stuff like that. But it's not just Afghanistan. It's Iraq, Iran. It's a lot of these other countries that are constantly in turmoil, upheave, government upheaval, you know, rebellion, civil war, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So they're they're history is always repeating itself with those particular countries so you're right it just seems to be like another cyclical thing of another conflict in the middle east 
another another issue that's happening all over again. So. We don't have to pick a side, right? I don't think there's really a side to really pick on this issue. You know, it's just kind of a... I think most people are just kind of like, I'm kind of done. I don't want, I don't want a war. I don't want to... I don't want a war. I don't know. Man, you know, moving all of these <laughs> was already <laughs> busy enough. Yeah. Imagine thinking about war. Uh, I've seen the images, man, because I, I, I like to see videos in which I can see the reality, you know, I can truly see. And the ones in open field, have you seen the floor, how the floor is? Like hundreds of thousands of holes everywhere, everywhere for thousands of miles. Yeah. How long would that take, you know, to, to get back to where it was? Yeah. There's still parts of Germany, France, yeah, a lot of Europe that is still scarred from the effects of the war. And Vietnam. you're talking about 80 years. Yeah. Think yeah. about... And they have the resources to reconstruct, to rebuild. Think about how it is where we don't have the sources. Yeah, some so of the... These countries that they get into war, but they don't really have... They get into debt, I guess, you know, using all those missiles from... Well, supplied from you know all the nations. Well, so I mean that's the that's the thing is you see all these memes of, you know, like uh, Scooby Doo where they they rip off the mask of the person and it says like so who started this conflict with Israel and Iran and it's an American and they rip it off and it's like oh it was us because the United States also provides money to Iran and of course Iran uses it for for their defense also so it's like. It's almost as if, you know, and we support we Israel at the same time. So it's like we're, you know, it, uh, so. Well, it's been very proven how we profit from war. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, I think I, I saw one meme online where it was this one American, I think he was in Thailand or, or uh, Vietnam or something like that, an ATM paying for two prostitutes. Okay. <laughs> and it said Joe Biden, and one was Ukraine, and the other one was Israel. <laughs> Just said, don't. <laughs> oh, my goodness, man. Yeah. So, so yeah, I, I, I don't know your guys' thoughts, but, I mean, as of right now, no, no war has escalated, no official response from Israel, if they are going to retaliate. But that's, but that's what I'm saying. So, Israel might have not been prepared for a retaliation, and Iran was. Because even though it was an embassy destroyed, they already, when they retaliated, it was thought exactly where they wanted to do to hit them financially, right? And now Israel probably having to go like, oh, let's rethink these. Because we don't know what that is, so we need to study what happened. So that might that will take a week or two. Now, usually they retaliate in twelve hours. Normally, but yeah, yeah that's but when they have the plan. Yeah, but they, when they feel like you know they are already you know up there. Yeah, but but because of all the part, all the partners, you know, all, because of all the coalition asked them, hey, you know, like <laughs> hold on, hold, you don't have to retaliate right now. Think about it. And they are thinking, they, they have the same thoughts, you know, like, how can I hurt Iran financially? That's in a, it. In a way that they cannot yes. use those missiles anymore. Maybe they said, maybe, maybe it's a cyber attack, they measure, they measure it. It doesn't need to be something physical, you know, like, but yeah. there will be a retaliation. He doesn't know when, you know, so, but it's going to happen, hmm. you know? Yeah. Israel will not ne will never accept like that. No, no, they, but won't, they won't accept it. But to your point, <clears throat> to both of your points, you're saying 12 hours for a retaliation. 12 to what? 24 hours. I'm sure what happened was Net 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 New. I yeah. always uh, always have a hard time <laughs> pronouncing his name. He probably was waiting for Biden to say like, "All right, let's go get him." He was probably waiting for the UN or NATO to come in and say like, "Yeah." 
we we support your attack. Let's go. Let's go re re retaliate back to Iran for what you guys started. And I don't think he actually got that support that he was looking for. Because a lot of people were like, the fuck no, there, are quite right, a few, yeah? there are quite yeah. a few countries that um, pledged support to, to Israel, and you know, in Nazi was the first one. But it did say, "I will support you," but it might not have said how. Right, because over here you'd have to get the people like us, like you know, people that are like mainstream, you know, like the, the people that are living in the country to actually show the support. Yeah. So I don't know how they would commit to that, but you know, all of the senators they would have. They have their people that they talk to all the people and then to get to the to the street to find out what the American people want. Right. You know? So and I I'm not sure if uh, anybody wants well, that's to the be thing involved is, in war. <clears throat> I mean you've said it many times and you've been in the military. And then you go like I I think wasting money in war but at the same time it does profit from a war, as Dylan was saying. Yeah. Well, it, it props up. It props up the economy. It keeps the indu- you know the military industrial complex going. It keeps you know economies going. And also, during the period of war, uh, you can be more authoritarian. You can de- you can demand more things. You know faster, and it, it, that stresses people for sure. Stresses people out, but. You force people to always be thinking about one goal. So I think there's a lot of production, but that's why you can't, this can't last too long no. because it's super stressful physically and mentally, right? So I think I would go more for in that direction. Right. No, you're absolutely right. Well, well he's, uh, yeah, just, just pull it up for us here, right? So, Nathaniel. He's 74 years old and he's been very sick. So he knows that he won't be able to hold power for, for longer. So, you know, he's, um, and he has been, it's been said from one of the sources that um, he doesn't command anything anymore. You know, so his, the, the, the second level, the second tier is actually uh, more, way more uh, extreme than his. So he tries to, you know, to apaziguate the, 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 um, these people. So I don't know. I don't know. Uh, maybe he's, he wants to stay in, in power. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Maybe. You never know. Ultimate goals to mm. things. And yeah, we're heading into an election year ourselves, so. That is true. It's, it's very interesting. Yes. I don't know. I don't want it to escalate any further. Because it puts pressure on us to get involved. Yeah. I don't think we really we have our get own involved. problems, where I'm We're spread kind of thin in that department, anyways. I feel like with all the support through Ukraine, but I don't know. I just don't think it's something that I want to get involved <laughs> with. Those aren't decisions that I make, though. So we're all just bystanders at this point, where we just deal with the decisions other people make. Unfortunately, but, you know. It is election year. Yeah. It's complex. Very, very complex. <laughs> if you think about it. Like Biden, all of his, um, what do you say, like the support team might be thinking like, wait, should we get involved? And then that would win us the election or we not get involved the wins of the election. The it's embedded in the job. I mean, the last year for any any for any politician who's thinking about right. having a second running again, well, everything is optics. You you know yeah, you try to hide what is bad. Yeah. You try to hide what is bad about you, and you try to highlight what I mean. The others in the other party is going to do the opposite. You know. Yeah. Uh, right now, of course. Uh, and it's hard because the base, his base doesn't want it to support the war because usually war is good. You know, like war is war is good um, in the beginning, right? Um, so, but a vast majority of I think has has changed. 
Mm. Well, and that's what I was going to say is a vast majority of Democratic voters are Muslim or or uh, recognize themselves as different faiths. Yeah, we've had a lot of protests around the country recently involving Palestine and Israel and all that stuff. Yes, in Michigan, right? When I was in Chicago, I saw a huge manifestation. Sorry. When I was in Chicago, seeing my sister, uh, remember that? Uh, Protest, you mean? Yeah, there was a lot of, yeah, there was a protest, like a... Here in Austin. A huge parade. There was yeah. just one a couple days ago, maybe even yesterday, at the San Francisco, the Golden Gate Bridge. They were blocking it so people couldn't get through. Somebody um, cemented, they like stood and like cemented their hands in these little barrel things so that they wouldn't be moved. And they're, it has something to do with the war, you know, or supporting Palestine and people feeling like their voices aren't being heard. And So, yeah, everything, I don't know. It's probably not smart. You're going in to get reelected to start pushing into war when you know a lot of your supporters don't want that. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So this is why he's measuring. Should I, you know, like, and then should I, because if I support one Ukraine and I don't support the other or the, uh, the other way around, yeah. that's bad optics for both parties, actually. It's bad. It's bad to do that. You, we don't want that. Right. So, but this is a, we can go very deep on that on that topic, right? No, for sure. Yeah, because uh, it's it's complex. Yeah, I don't envy politicians. Mm. Right no, now. I'm watching The West Wing. Have you guys I'm ever no envy the politicians? Yeah. Have you watched it, The West, West Wing? I have no interest in it. No, but I uh, <laughs> well, we watched it when I was in college a little bit during like certain. But now it makes more sense. I just started. I just signed up uh, Max because of that because I want to watch the whole. Um, seven seasons and every year it's a year of the president right so uh sure. it, man it's hectic they have the, you know the episodes are hectic hectic one thing that is great about the the tv series is that is that they are always fucked up they're always trying to solve things but they fuck up in every single episode somebody fucks up because we're only human at the end of the day well but that's that's what was so real popular Drama. No, no, but no. It's a TV show drama, yeah, but yeah, but it's um, but, but man, the, the, representatives. Yes, is probably what they're like. It has to be a little bit florist, right? Oh, but then no, it's, prob- yeah. yeah, but yes, of course, because he's an erudite, you know, like the president. So uh, that's because every episode we don't have to have a, a cliffhanger. We don't have politicians that are erudite like this. Seriously, no, we don't, nobody's like that president. Just right? in there, yeah. Man. Yeah. Turn what, things up a little bit more. What but, is the Re- Republican Party thinking about it? You know, the war itself. I don't know. I haven't really heard. Honestly, it it seems like it's a very hush hush. I think most people have been, most politicians have been hush about it before mm-hmm. they come out and either support Israel or or condemn Israel. It seems like Biden has said, you know, don't don't do anything. Biden is not interested, and I well, Biden is going to be the candidate, right? Yeah, it, seem, it seems like it. It yeah. seems like it, right? And, and uh, it seems like Trump is going to be the, the candidate for the Republicans, right? RFK is running independent. Yeah, independent. yeah. And, and Trump, for a long time that I heard of it, also, he's not very supportive of war. He's not at all. For war, no. He never liked war. He, he was the one that initiated the. the backing out of Afghanistan. <clears throat> he initiated, signed into law that by 20... Pulling the troops. Yeah, pulling the troops, what, 2020? We were going to well, start pulling the troops. There were some then, troops pulled down during the... Biden uh, took over the Obama administration. When it started happening. And he criticized the way that we left. And we, we left a lot of stuff behind. But... Yeah. Yeah, yeah. he's never been a proponent for... That, that's what I remember. I remember that uh, like on his every time that he spoke about something, he, he doesn't like war. So, we, which means, well, I that think the, the U.S. doesn't want the war, and it, it you know doesn't matter the party, right? Well, yeah, like the front face of all of it, no. But I feel like CIA, other kind of like deep state. How deep do you want to get into it? There are well, there will be people that want that to be in. Yeah. They'll feed both sides, you know, and then. Benefit um, from it, and you also. 
one thing are us individually and a completely different thing from my point of view of course yeah. right so yeah. is the institution pertains to this. the institution of the united states as a superpower you know like as a defender of the world you gotta yeah. be involved somehow. you gotta be involved you understand somehow. like it, it's the cost i think it's the cost of being of yeah, being a superpower it's, it's the propaganda it's yeah. the marketing so yeah we, you do still have to be involved somehow I'm, i talked about it uh, on previous episodes and when we talked about it i did mention that that there is no way that us would be they have to participate somehow because they have to be you know being the the strongest uh, force in the world military force yeah you have to be involved well we just have a lot of allies so that yeah, yeah. we will get pulled in one way or another but it's a matter of i, I think we try to wait till the last moment before Monarch, we yes. really start pushing you know that's what i would just say imagine i don't it, that, this that's is what happened very, during world war ii very yeah. difficult very difficult decision you know because there are many ways to get a advantages from something but then is it ethical for example right so if the u.s just stay there let them you know let let the europe uh, let them figure it out <laughs> exactly <laughs> they could they could they well, could and that's, but then they saw the right moment to get into the war too mm -hmm. didn't and use harbor harbor probably appear harbor as um not as an excuse but um they already won it that was the last drop Right. So, well, that was. It yeah, was an, um, they were ready for it. It was an attack of war. Yes. They killed many Americans at Pearl Harbor, and that was what started. Well, that's the different system. too. When you when you get an attack on American soil, you know mm -hmm. why? No. Okay. You good? Say say it again. When they finally push you that hard, and they attack Americans on our American soil or our military bases here domestically, then it's like you're fully in. And there was already a war going on yeah. at that point, so they're like, you know what? Let's force their hand on this. You know, and that's basically kind of what happened. Well, and then I, and I think that's what that's the approach that should be taken. Honestly, with this whole thing is like Israel, you started this mess. Figure it out. We've said we've been supportive of you, but now we're kind of like drawing back and being like, our support only goes so far. You keep doing crazy yeah. and stupid shit. So now you need to figure the this thing out. Is, the the thing is that figure it out. The beginning of that was yeah. the attack of the Hamas, right? So yes. yeah, that was the. So um, again, when the, why does the Hamas have have done that? You know, why do they? Why did they do that? Um, then okay. if, if, if you go back, yeah, it's just like it, the egg and the, and the, and it the goes, chicken. It goes. It goes back on that saying that we always talk about. It's like. There is two sides of the story, and there's this truth, and then the truth is it's never told, and nobody knows. Yeah, it's like three sides, right? Exactly. Yeah, everybody says about two sides, but it, it, two sides, it's just what we can talk about. But the real truth and the real intention is only the people that are within the the, the office. Yeah. Yeah. Just, just one case, just to I remember, I remember to illustrate that um, once the Europe. Got all the sanction, the sanctions to um, um, to Russia, right? And then uh, the Europe w needed energy, so they one of the yeah yeah exactly. So they need it. Where where are you gonna take from? One of the most important sources is Qatar now. Okay. And Qatar now is one level below NATO with the United States. So they have uh, yeah like, like they have like levels, right? Yeah. They're, they're, they're being supported. America is supporting Qatar on this. And do you think Qatar is in, wants the war to finish, for example? No. 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 Oh, you mean like tears? Like it goes, like you move up and up and up. So you have yeah, like. You have, yeah. So you started as a, yeah, oh, it's a small partnership and then yeah, it moves up, then to, moves up to NATO. To, yes. Okay. Right? So um, they are one right. with the US, yeah. right? Okay. So. Yeah. So of course they don't want the the war to end, because they are they are profiting from that, you know. Um, and oil won't last more than three hundred three hundred years. Maybe they're thinking about a thousand years ahead, you know, because it's going to end. And what's going to be of that that region with, without oil? 
Yeah. They have to transform that. They have 300 yeah, years. Yeah, energy. They have to transition from oil to a different source of power. Yeah, the entertainment. They're trying Nuclear. with entertainment, right? They're trying to other things. Try right? Or cloud seeding for that matter. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting, you know. To, they're such a wealthy country, Dubai and over there. Abu Dhabi, that they have so much money that they can cloud seed to make it rain once a week, yes. 52 times a year. Yep, it's expensive. Yes, I've seen the. I, I've seen the. Well, I, I don't know the Were you exactly what they shoot up no. yeah. into the sky. That yeah, I've seen that. Yeah, that it makes it rain. Yeah, it's very expensive, but they they've been doing that for a while now, a long time. So I saw talks oh, of cloud seeding gone wrong and that's what happened with the storm and now it's flooding over there but um, I'm not, is that a, really what happened or that's just speculation well that's speculation the government is the a AUE United United Emirates Arab Emirates Arab, mm -hmm. uh, they're the ones that are coming out and saying that's not the case right but everyone obviously is going like uh, it kind of follows the schedule of when it's supposed to rain and you guys kind of you know, I've been playing around with this for quite quite a few. And it hasn't years. rained like that since like the '90s or something. I read. So they they got like two years worth of rain in two days. In two days, yeah. So and you can see the airport where it's completely flooded. The streets are flooded. Oh, I saw that. Yeah. I saw videos of a Lamborghini driving down the road, just water rushing over it. Yeah. People and swimming out of. Little underground because they have underground malls and stuff. Yeah, so they're in their designer clothes, you know, waist deep. Getting, I mean, it's bad. People are it's, are driving jet skis through yeah. the city streets. Yes, I, I saw a video really, of that on X today. Yeah, wow, it's very bad. It's but bad. It's man made, and and I think I sent the video where uh, allegedly, alleged, yes, allegedly, but uh, that <laughs> yeah. that one Japanese scientist, I always forget his name, Taki or something like that. Shatani or uh, is that the the ja uh, the Japanese American uh, physicist who was always on talk shows and stuff like that? I sent mm. in the link. I forget his name, Ooh. but anyways, he was talking about how this technology has been going on since the '60s. How the United States would do cloud seeding for Vietnam to flush yeah. out the Viet Cong and all of their underground bunkers and stuff like that. So this isn't. This isn't new, 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 new technology. This has been happening for quite a while. For 60, you know, 60 plus years now. But the thing is, I think this concept, it, I'm gonna go out there tinfoil hat and say that they fucked up and they cloud seeded too much. And it could have been a combination of cloud seeding and then like the right circumstances where a storm also brewed and it just stuck over Dubai for a very long time yeah. and caused all of this flooding. I think that that might be a combination, a combination of things. That's probably, you know, my hypothesis of that situation. But at the same time, it's really interesting that we can control the weather. Yeah, did you see the video of like downtown Dubai? It's like 3 p.m. and it looked like the totality from the eclipse. It was just dark. Dark. It was too, too much thick cloud. rain clouds. Yeah, it was dark yeah. outside at three o'clock in the afternoon. But yeah, I mean, it's a dry place, so they don't get rain like that. So I mean, it's devastating. They're not set up for. It's like when it freezes really bad here in Texas and everything shuts down. They're not. <clears throat> get those microfibers dim, please. Both of them. Yes. Thank you. And um, yeah. What do you mean there? Besides one that, man, nature, nature always charges back. <laughs> you know? Yeah. You know, um, you know what I'm saying? Like, um, what? how do they do this water? How is that renovated? What's the quality of that? <laughs> well, I forget what it is exactly. It's not like magnetic silver or something that they shoot up into the sky and it reacts with something and it brings in cloud formations that end up so it's, it drops normal yeah. natural rain oh, yeah. but um not this much where like i said they do it once a week and i think they get like two inches or something whatever it is like a year 
it's like a not machine. that like, much. Uh-huh. Like it's not. It's less than it rains in Seattle, even though they're doing this all the time because it's so dry there. So it's just a little bit of like relief. Right. Is, is less than what is supposed to rain on this Saturday, or about the same amount? Probably about that. Yeah, because mm-hmm. this upcoming Saturday we're about to get a lot of rain, apparently. But um, Saturday. For for the what Conrad was mentioning, they got an entire year's worth of their average rainfall in two days. Yeah. All concentrated at the same time. So it's just it's devastating. So how this is they're a, gonna react to it. I don't know, and it's still going. It's not like it stopped, it's still going. This yeah. is another just just a just a Monday for Porto Alegre. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Lots yeah, of rain. South oh, Brazil right now. My Man. God. Just a this is the uh, the worst month in Porto Alegre is in Porto Alegre in Brazil is January for, for the rains. Yeah? January and February is the worst. Yeah. So, but, but Rio is way worse because of all the mountains, you know? Um, so it's much worse, but yeah. So At this time the of the summer, year, it's kind of, yeah. In, in Spirito Santo, yeah. in Vitoria, same? Is yeah, that the same? same way. Yeah. We've yeah. had a decent amount of rain, not heavy rainfall, but just kind of consistent. A little bit of rain, so we're supposed to get a lot of rain on Saturday. Yeah, we got a that's pretty a, good system and cold front coming in. Um, it's good. Our lake is low, you know. We could do with a little bit of rain. So many damn Californians out here yeah, taking yeah. showers. Man, the lake, <laughs> the lake, like houses that you'd have, you know, the lake view lake front has, properties. Yeah, has just sand. You know, you can ride a dirt bike out there. That's a good idea. Four wheeler, yeah, yeah. You are very, yeah, yeah. You would like his dirt bikes. Yeah, that'd be cool. Dirt bikes. You and Lucas yeah. got all these people. How do we get more water in this lake? It's a problem. Every year, it's a problem. We go through droughts. Should we start cloud seeding? I don't know. I, I'm not. But our lake is you see freaking it. low. That's where these things come up. Exactly. This is a consequence of this uh, this, this conversation. You see, the problem is all of a sudden we have a topic. You know, a topic for one hour, the, the one you brought it. But then right? again, you you can only control so much. You know, it's things get out of control. Good. Yeah, it's like starting a fire and then getting a forest fire. You yes, know? yes. But like, have you seen those um, kind of, uh, they, they kind of bloom and then, you know, the way to get it off is like, you know, you light them in fire and they're like, and the whole yard, you know, gets clear. And, and it, it, it burns so fast that uh, it doesn't really cause any wildfire. But, you know, depending on how, but I, I've seen videos like, you know, the, the fire just like, I, I forgot the name of, of the, the little thing that it just, the way to clean it, it's just like you lit it in no. fire, on fire and then the whole yard goes like, and cleans it. Huh. Yeah. No, I, yeah, I've never seen that. I don't know what, what it is, but I saw that. Um, I know one of the methods of containing wildfires though is like you got a wildfire they go around and they actually burn directionally back in yes 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 to trap it all but to I, trap it yes even yeah, that's down. not a exact science it's not wind picks up and then changes directions puts yeah, it over it, here. something might flare off and th- because when you create fire you have a lot of air movement yeah and then you have, have something like some flare going up in the sky and then flying Carries over and then hitting the other spot and then you get more fire. Well, and it's funny you say that. You bring up the more, like, kind of the, the question of, like, should we do it? It ends up being a morality question. Kind of, right? You know, because then you're you're kind of playing into a God figure. That's what you're almost. Controlling the nature. Controlling, you're controlling nature. You're controlling your environment. environment. Nature always, you know... Finds a way to find yeah, back. Finds a way. Finds a way. Well, that's that's the line from Jurassic Park. Yes. Jeff Goldblum's yeah. character. Thank you. Uh, yeah, finds na- a way. And, 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 and nature finds its way. Yeah. yeah. Because of the female male. Yeah. Uh, and then they yeah, on that, on that movie, yeah. 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 Jurassic Park is such, such a good, good thing. Yeah. yeah. Oh, One of my top we 20, find top a, 10. Top yeah. 10. Yeah. Top 10 is impossible, but. So, yeah, I never say top ten because it's unfair with all the audience. Yeah. But the Don't first time you watch the it, prehistoric mosquitoes and amber, right? Leave them alone. <laughs> yeah. But we're we're messing with AI. We've all seen, you know, Terminator and iRobot. And there's no turning back. No, um, there's no turning back. 
if the, I think if my memory is not betraying me, you told me you were watching Three Body Problem. I'm you on finished? episode five. I finished it. It's getting very interesting. Thank you, thank you for you know for sci-fi community for the sci-fi sci-fi community. We wanted something like this. Okay, there's all these things, these wokey things, the whole se- you know the whole series, but it was well done. I loved it. I bought it the audiobook because I want to compare it. Right, because it was yeah. from a novel, right? Yeah. No, it's um, it, it keeps turning in a direction where you can't you can't predict what's going to happen. It just keeps coming. Kind of it's, yeah. it's good. I, I, I'd recommend it. Definitely. I haven't even finished it yet, but I'd start. Yes, um, the end is brilliant. I watched some video on X. I'll have to share it. Um, somebody built like an AI robot. And I don't know if one of y'all sent the dinner where I saw it, but uh, the guy asks it, when do you think you'll be advanced enough that you could design yourself? And it kind of left, it was like, oh, AI, (coughs) we're a tool for humans to use. We don't have human ability for creativity and blah, 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 blah. But if we did, you know, that's probably not a door you'd want to open up. So I'm butchering it. was something I left like this ominous last sentence that was like, oh, what the fuck? Jesus Christ. Well, the three body problem has the same, um, uh, how do you pass? It does. The, the whole thing, the whole thing about that is because of one person. Open the door. One more. Yeah, exactly. So that's the same, that's the same concept. Yeah. yeah. This one I recommend. I mean, if you, why you want Washing the dishes, whatever. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. This is what they do. Put a headset. You know, I watch it. TV. Yeah. So this is how I, I watch TV, fixing the house. That's the only time I have available. Yes, I liked it. <clears throat> yeah, these days are interesting. I have a hard time going to sleep, so I watch it with an AirPod in, and then I'll fall asleep, and then have to pick up in the middle of the episode the next day or something. Yeah. But yeah, it, that day, yeah, exactly because. Do you, you put it on me uh, a maximum 40, 40 minutes. You see that you can regulate that because sometimes I, 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 I sleep, I sleep, and then it's the whole book, the whole yeah. night, the whole night. But this one you can man, you can put it like if you want it. A little timer. Yeah, a timer, fifteen minutes. Yeah. I always put it fifteen minutes because I, I sleep with it. How right. advanced we get with technology, we end up finding ways to go back to things that just worked because there used to be like the sleep mode for TVs. You know, you set it for thirty minutes or whatever, you fall asleep, but. We get more advanced, but some of these things just work really well. So, Speaking of listeners, uh, you can also do the same thing with the podcast here. <laughs> Put in your headphones, give a listen, like, comment, share, subscribe, all those fun things. Puff Drink Talk Podcast. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Turn a long trip on a plane. Thank you. Watch the playlist of uh, a few of our podcasts. Thank you. Well, we had MotoGP last weekend. In in, uh, in yeah. Austin, yeah, yes, we did. Uh, and I have no idea what happened, but I, I had either. a friend of mine, you know, texting me, "Man, this is going on. I gotta be there next year, so I'm gonna plan for him to be coming, you know, next year." You know him? I know him. Yeah, I know him from the podcast. Oh, from the podcast. Yeah, in Brazil, Rodrigo. Rodrigo. Yeah. So we might have him uh, next year and, uh, when we get the MotoGP in here. So uh, hopefully he comes. He's a great guy. And I love him. He sent me a message. Like he sends me messages. Okay. Directly. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. He, <laughs> from time to time. Yeah. He loves Austin. He's always sending me things about Austin. He, he was like, "Help me, yeah. Austin's so nice. Yes, and so yeah. beautiful." And it's like, man, we. I, I said, I told him like, I'll, I'll, I'll have you in my house. You know, just come. There's a lot of cool stuff, you know. F1, MotoGP. Could we get the Spurs? Yes, oh, I that heard about great. that. that I heard about great. that uh, some some time ago. So and I was like, they, uh, really? Speaking of, yes. Hop into the uh, NBA playoffs. Yeah, yeah. How's that going? Yeah. So uh, actually, all the sports, all the sports. Yeah. Section. So from the NBA section. Yeah. Right. So, <laughs> um, the bouncer. That's gonna be my corner. Today. <laughs> the bouncer. So yeah. So before the play, the playoffs. Now they have the play-in. The play-in. Do you, are you guys familiar with the play-in? Is yes. Yes, sir. Are so you? 
Nope. Yeah. He might not be. Yeah. Or for viewers that maybe don't know. Yes. No, it's just that uh, it's uh, a piece they incre incremented in 2020, I think, uh, in which um, in the past you would have uh, the eight best uh, performers, right? Um, from each conference. So for each conference, right? Um, yep. You play the one, uh, the first, first versus eighth, and second versus seventh, the seventh, yep. right? But Same. now only six teams are guaranteed. Okay. Only six teams are guaranteed, and then um, there is a play. There, are, there is a play-in, or there are there are play games between these teams. But of course, the seventh has advantages against the eighth okay. because it plays at home. It play, plays yeah. home. I was right? a wild card. Yes. Yeah. Sort of. Uh, yeah. Uh, but Perfect. also, you have the ninth and the tenth. So this year, from the West, yesterday was Sacramento Kings beat the Golden State Warriors. Oh, and well, going, well, yeah. The Golden State Warriors are out. Really? Now they are discussing if this is the end of the dynasty, right? Clay Thompson, Steve, uh, Stephen Curry, Draymond Green. Draymond Green, yeah, basically. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Stephen Curry, man. He's and KD's good. already out, so he left, right? He's yes, he's yeah. yeah. No, no, yeah no, he, he was he went to the Nets, and then now he's he 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 Spurs. Yeah. Yes. And look, uh, Phoenix Suns. The Suns. Yeah, Phoenix Suns, yeah. So are they in a rebuilding period, potentially, going forward, the Warriors? They tried it. They tried to do it while, this is, the, this is one of the problems of them, right? They tried to rebuild it while you get the best years from the, from the trio. But we know, like, in most sports, it doesn't work like that, like that, you know? And then most of them fail. They only kept one out of the... The core, the two. They have like six or seven in the core. They only have two. Um, so yeah, so they will have to rebuild. But I think a lot of people, it's a big organization, I think. S some guys like, you know, Johnny's, guys like yeah. uh, Shea, um, you know, like the top players, I would say top five. They are two, two of the top five. One of those guys for sure will go to. Um, Giannis has already said many times he wants to, to no. go. When is the Olympic Games? I've, I've, oh, it's I've in France. Time. It's in July, in uh, June. Is in this July. year? Yes. Man, I want to see the Dream Team. Yeah. Yeah, Team USA has already picked their picked their players. players. Yes. Yeah. So who is in it? <laughs> Stephen Curry for sure. Stephen Curry, LeBron James. Oh. If you go, uh, if you go by Edwards. Po if you go, if you go by positions, right? Because it's then you have the Curry. From um, Golden State, you have Holly Burton from Indiana. Yeah. Okay. Today was the leader of uh, assists in the, the, the season. Pacers. So, uh, the, from the Pacers, as he was from Sacramento. He was yeah. from Sacramento. He was, Don't bring it up. They yeah. It. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, but Fox. And that, that, that brought, no, but that brought in Sabonis. Sabonis, man. Yeah, just, but. Yeah. But Fox, or I, I, I still prefer Fox. Well, Fox has always been on the team. Yeah. Yeah, but then there, there's a fight. There, there, there were yeah, a fight. There was, one of, yeah. one of the, the two would have to would be the you know the probably the, uh, the face of the team. The yeah, yeah, yeah so, the, how do they call it? The franchise. Yes. Way, right. Um, yeah. So yeah. So Lake, the Lakers beat the the Pelicans in New Orleans yesterday. Yeah. Um, Zion destroyed the game. He was a monster. Man, I want to see. I want. I wanted him to be the twelfth player uh, in the Olympics because no one can stop that guy. No one ever. I mean, I can't. I can't think of any other player that I've seen playing in the world uh, before. Like stop! Him. Stop this guy. But he got injured. They, lo they Shaq, lost the game. Baby. They lost the Lakers. The Lakers. So Lakers now is true. Is the seventh. Okay. Right. And, and Dallas is top. On the uh, da da Dallas is in fifth. Fifth. Okay. So they're playing uh, the Clippers. They are play, yeah, they are playing seven games. Uh, they started tomorrow night. Tomorrow night. Yeah. Yeah. So it is Luca going to the <laughs> playing the Olympics? No? Oh no, the Olympics. Uh no, yeah, he I, will. For Slovenia. He's not he's playing he he's, yeah. he's Slovenia. He's yeah. What about that Brazilian guy that everybody got impressed from the a dunk that he had last week? The Brazilian guy that uh, they, they had like the, the balls passing on, and then he jumped, pretty much like from Michael Jordan jump, uh, and then he dunked the ball. I don't know this Brazilian guy. Know. And then everybody on the on the on the bench was like, 
They're, yeah, they, yeah, they yeah, make the face, like they're all going impressed. Yeah, that, that part is the, the funniest part of it. Yeah. Yeah. It's I love so that, though. <laughs> yeah, like when Go, so Go, Go good. Bear, like missed like three <laughs> three free throws. Yeah, <laughs> he was like, oh my god, the guy was on the corner, like laughing. Oh, he's gonna miss again. Oh, he's gonna miss again. Who Man. was the one that missed the free throws on purpose? Boban. Boban. Yeah, that was nice. I I saw that. Genius. Did you see that? Yeah. That's hilarious. I had to Genius. show. I had to show my wife. Man, that yeah. He even. He does that to the crowd. He goes, I got you. I got you. Yeah. Oh. It's perfectly done. <laughs> I win it. Everyone in the crowd gets free, free, free chicken. chicken. <laughs> yeah. It's so good. It was amazing. Man, we want more players like this. Yeah. 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 Up so good. Yeah. We That's want more hilarious. players like this. Yeah. So good, you know? man. So, uh, yeah. So, and, uh, well, tonight we have two games. Right? The so East. it's the East side, yes. It's uh, Chicago versus the Hawks. Okay. Right, and make a, I'm sorry, guys. I think you you had a yeah. A, I, a I, don't, I don't touch. I don't touch my face. I'm trying to. <laughs> yeah, once you start. Yeah, it's, it's hard. terrible. It's hard. Yeah. Anyway, we moved so many things. We don't have any paper here now. So. And now we have we Sixers. Okay. We have the Sixers versus uh, Heat. The Heat. So that is going to be a great game. One of them, right? So uh, one of them is going to be the seventh. Embiid is back. So, I like I like their I, I like them, but I will never bat against Jimmy playoff. Yeah, Jim. Yeah, Jimmy, Jimmy play, buckets. Yeah, Jimmy buckets. Jimmy buckets. I don't. But yeah, so I would I would love them to win, but I think the Philadelphia have a better uh, bench, so probably they will win. So they will go through. But then the Miami still still have a chance against Chicago or the Hawks. I think the Hawks are going to win. So, I personally really like the playoff system that the NBA implemented. Instead of instead of like the, the top eight of the play in, you yes, yeah. of, mm-hmm. of the play in for the yes. playoffs. Yes, yes, perfect. Uh-huh. You know, because before it was the top eight, number one played eighth, second, seventh, da 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 da, da the seeding. Now you have ten teams, and the bottom four teams aren't guaranteed. So it works this way, where nine and ten play each other. Yes. The They'll lose nine, nine, nine and ten. Nine at home. Yes, exactly. nine and ten is at yeah. Perfect. So nine is how many home. games though? One game. That's one game. Yes, one, one game. Oh, one oh, game. Oh, that's a so nice. So yes. that's oh, that's nice. I know. That's nice. So, that's nice. so, so it's games. an elimination. It's an elimination game. So yesterday, I think yes. what you were gonna say. Yes. Uh, I it thought was, it was like three games. No, one game. One game for the play is. For the play-in, is just one game. So they don't have that time to kind of investigate and learn? No, no it, because it was like three days. They have three days off and that's it. Yeah, they go right back. Why? Because the, the, playoff, the playoff is going to start tonight. Yeah, some games tonight. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh, tomorrow night. I'm sorry. Tomorrow but night. but so, so like last night, it was the Warriors and the Kings. Kings won. So now the Golden State Warriors are out. They're completely eliminated. Okay. Now, and then the other night, it was the Lakers, like George was saying, yes. it was the Lakers and Pelicans. The Lakers won, so now they move into the seventh, uh, the seventh spot. Seventh spot. But, okay. So they're, they're in the playoffs. Yes. But because the Pelicans were eight exactly. and they lost, now they go back and they have to play an elimination game against the Kings. I, I guess the, the one that won the nine and ten. Exactly. But oh, that's they, nice. So now yeah, it's, it's, so they, still they have play home. Plans. And yes. they play home. They play home because they you know the advantage. Okay. If they played home against no, the Lakers. Home. They lost. So who exactly. plays at home? Okay. So okay. Okay. Yes. yes. Because they were seventh. Yes. You know, the, yes. The, the, the highest hand ranked. Yeah. It is a wild card kind of thing. Yeah, right, especially because okay. it's a one game thing, you know. Because yeah. they they did they did all the conferences, similar. you know, better. So it's still they would still have the advantage of playing home. Exactly. In one game. In one. Oh one. man. And that's where it's exciting. I love this it. season, yeah, this I season love it. was. The Kings win that. You're gonna be. Yes. Oh, I'm oh my that. god! Yes. Oh, man. Where and it, it was a revenge game against uh, last year. Yes, exactly. the, the different game. Curry networks. Curry, Curry played it really well. All the games, you know, like. Um, anyway, he's going to seat, he's going to, he's going to have to think about, he's, he only have, probably he only has three more years. Oh, these guys, I don't know, man. I don't know. Those guys, I don't know. And, and, that's, why, and that's why I love watching college, especially for like the final four or when it gets into the, the, the playoff times. It's just one game. 
Yes. You have to yes, play true, balls true, to the true, wall true. as best as you can. Yeah. You give everything. That one game. Final Four games are really good. It, National Championship game, they got blown out. And then, uh, did you watch women's uh, college basketball at all this year? Caitlin Clark. Dude, is she's a laser. Dude. Unbelievable. I've been following her since the first year because she's been a. Man, yeah, she's been a sensational, right? Since the beginning, right? Yeah. Um, and I, I, I kind of uh, was super happy that she lost the, <laughs> the, the finals, you know? Because yeah. then, uh, because the Brazilian was number three, and the Brazilian was drafted. Cardoso was, was drafted. Third? The third, yes. And man, but Caitlin, she's going to change forever. She already has. She's the most important. She's a Jordan. Well, of before starting the first game in the WNBA, she's, she's the Jordan of women. I know, I know it's, uh, it's too much, but it is. Not a, Do you agree? The women's national championship game got more views than the men's this year. Yes. Yep. And they were, they were given a breakdown. All small, small stadiums, like where WNBA player or uh, teams play. Some of them are with the NBA, but some are like small, small venues. Most of the the ticket prices, she got drafted by the Indiana Fever. Yes, yeah. number one. Yeah. Number one, uh, normal normal tickets to go see a, a normal Fever game is like twenty bucks. Yes. Now it's a hundred. Okay. Because of her. In New York, it went that, up from like fifty so to two hundred. It's so good that that just happened. Yes. There is a there is a. a I mean, their salary. The cover of one of the magazines is that is like a dollar bill behind her. You know, like because. The teams are thinking, okay, the one who picks her, <laughs> they already know. Yeah. Look what she delivers, man. She delivers Yeah. And I think 20, 30 points a game, seven oh, to nine rebounds a game. A woman, right? Dude, because the score usually is lower. You know, like now it's not anymore. Right. Right? So she changed the game. She's paced uh, the floor. She's great. And I, and I tell you what, I really enjoy watching women's basketball. Because I it, always liked though, because Brazil always had good. Um, yeah, yeah, we are. Yeah, teams, yeah, yeah Brazil yeah. always had. Yeah, good female uh, basketball. Always, yeah. always. Yeah, and it's it, what I like about it is they play. In my opinion, how basketball should be played. Nothing fancy. None of this carrying. None of the the the. It's very tactical. It's pass, very tactical pass, pass. passing. Yes. If you do a shot, it has to be there. And I don't want to sound sexist or anything, but they are kind of like how I would play basketball because I'm not a professional. But at the same time, if I was playing, I would be like, well, I can't dunk, so I'm going to have to lay up. I can't. I'm somewhat good you at relate. threes, so I'm going to bring it in a little bit and shoot maybe outside, but not, not threes. Maybe if I do feel a little frisky and my hand's on fire, I will get out to the three. So I would I'd be the equivalent of like the WNBA if I played basketball, right? It's funny that you said that because I'm part of an uh, NBA group, like six or seven friends. I'm new to this group. And one of the guys just said um, the same thing. He's a blog, you know, like he's got a blog and NBA. Um, and he said exactly that. It, that's the most important thing that, that re makes you relate to the, the female games. Yeah. You, the, it's that thing like they do. They, he said he plays, right? Just, this is what I do. Yeah, I mean, it takes it takes someone extraordinary among our friends to dunk one guy to dunk. So um, this is a so it's he there's like the realistic and then the like the superheroes. Yes, NBA are like the superheroes. Like, what you know, be seven foot and be able to but, squat a ball. But the thing is, when you think about it, all of the tactics that has to go in and the intelligence of the game Ooh. is pretty much like the American football. Oh yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Because it's very tactical. Everybody's so strong, right, in the American football. You gotta be tactical. You gotta think about the rules. You know what I mean? Like, in a, exactly what happened in the final, on, on the Super Bowl. Yeah. Right? You have to think of the rules. And the, the rules and very tactical. So yeah. the, the, you know, the, the basketball, the, the, the WNBA is very, very tactical. Yeah. So it's very interesting. It's very, because... And it's fun to watch. It is, because you go like, oh, okay. 
So she's pulling up threes from anywhere. Anywhere, and anywhere. Just huh? falling. But, that, and I was, <laughs> but I was going to say, but I was just going to say, three against Curry. Do you see? Do you see that she participated with Curry in the, in the three point the contest? contest. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. She, she, she beat somebody games. one ball. Yeah, yeah. yeah. one, one. She almost beat the best of the best. Mm-hmm. Exactly. She almost beat. And of course, I questioned some things, right? So if you put it someone like yesterday. Alice, you know one of the the guards for you know the guard for for uh, Sacramento. Yeah, he, he was spectacular. Yeah, he was, and then Curry, yeah, I think Curry. He said he, he ran more than any other game this the, uh, this year. Yeah. He made him run. So this yeah, guy he has to clear. And yeah. this yeah. Guy, he would touch the ball. There would be two three guys. They won like that. Right, so um, that's the tactic. I don't he, know he how. Too good, I don't know. Yeah, that's. I don't know how. You know, she's gonna. gonna try and game she's gonna get him out. He does that. Gonna play that. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Nothing but that. Yeah. Right. So anything he does, the ball just goes like. It's unbelievable. Yeah. It's unbelievable. I yeah. haven't seen. You, know, you him have to play. honor everything. You can't give him too much space. You know. No. No. Well, that's it. That's it. You give him a foot and he'll just ah, thank you. I mean, then if you play him too hard, someone else is open. Then you so have Clay Thompson. Like, oh, yes. yes, but yesterday Clay Thompson zero, zero from zero from ten, uh, zero from ten, zero points, zero points. A guy wow. who delivers 23, 24 points every game. It doesn't matter who is defending him. You know, uh, Curry said that he wants him back. It's a difference maker. Yeah, he wants him back. Um, and then let's see how, what's going to happen. I, it's a t- difficult decision for the institution, you know, like get rid of the second best shooter ever. But I think the culture within Golden State has always been we're going to keep our guys because they've always been a small market team. You've always yes. had the Los Angeles Lakers. Yes. You've always had Boston. Boss. You've always had these big. Yes. Even even within like California, you've yes. always had bigger teams or on the West Coast. Do you know what I always Sorry. liked in the nineties was the Charles Barkley. Yeah. What was the team Sixers. that he used to play for? Seventy um, Sixers in and Phoenix Suns. Yeah. Phoenix Suns. Yeah. He was MVP of that year, and then Jordan yes. said, "Not here, buddy. Not here." <laughs> and it's not. It's comparing to like Chicago. Uh, you know the Lakers. He was not, you know, you know Phoenix was not that. I mean, it was a big team, but not that big. Right? No, he's got like he's got help, man. He, but he made, yes. he made a difference. He made a difference. That so, team was good. So it, it is what uh, um, you got to define. It. Curry is doing. Yeah. Yes. But I think he Curry. If the game stays the way it is, Curry is gonna be the maybe. I don't like to say that, but. No one has changed the game. No one will have changed the game. Not even Jordan. Uh, I think the impact for kids, everyone, everyone believes they can shoot now. Yeah. Yeah. And he's not, that's the thing because he's not a huge guy. Yeah. And I'll tell you, depends on the, depends on the technique. You see w- women shooting now. I don't know if you see that uh, free throws. Women are slightly better than men. Of course, the height is one of the one of the reasons this happens, right? Um, the way your body, you, you know, you are more uh, ergonomic, right? You know, so think about this: they will be shooting from anywhere. Yeah. It's the first one. She is Curry. Yeah. But we have yeah, shooters half court, today. Half court. Yes, we have we have shooters today. She is unbelievable. That that girl. The final yeah. floor when they were playing LSU, she was just popping. Off. One after the other. I saw. It. I was like, they couldn't do anything no. to yeah. stop her. Yeah, and yeah, and they she's they competitive when they got to the final fourth quarter. It was just like you knew it was over. You know, they got up by like twelve, and she just could not miss. Fun stuff. Yeah. So the NBA is going to be. I, I, I. This is my early pick here. I'll pick Denver. For sure, I think no one can beat them. Well, and 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 back to what we were talking. You you brought up the dream team. I'm I'm almost to the point where I think a lot of these other European teams are catching up. Caught up, caught up, caught up. I 
I'm telling you, very Luka, good. Yeah, we, yeah. we brought yeah. up Luca. So he's from Slovenia, Boban. Uh, but th- uh, th- that's not recent. They always had good players. They've always had, and they always players. they always fed the NBA. Yes, with their players. But it's always been one player at a time. Now it's starting to be multiple players from a country are playing in the NBA, and then when the Olympics come around, it's like, okay, hold on, you've got Luca, you've got Sabonis, you've Shai. got... Yeah, yeah, Sabonis Gia. are good. Yeah. Yeah. Shai. 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 Uh, Canada. 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 Canada's, Canada's no Canada. joke. Canada yes. has... I haven't seen baby. much of yes. uh, Luca. Yeah. Oh. Sabonis, I've seen a lot. Yeah, right. Because Luca, Luca is number two for MVP this year. He... He but just how, how, how old is he? Well, jo- Jokic, Jokic is also uh, Slovenian. So, yeah, 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 yeah. Number one, Jokic, is number one, the, the best player number in the one, NBA right now. Exactly, Serbian. Now you have Luca. Now you have Luca, which is but how 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 number old three, is Luka? Giannis, which is what is Luca? Number what four, is Luka Shai, which is Canadian. Tatum, Tatum, something. Will be Tatum will be the first American. How old is Luca? How old is Luca? Luca is twenty-five. He was he was Real Madrid's champion. He was no, he was Real Madrid's MVP of Europe when he was sixteen. Yeah. That's so he so that's the thing is and, and I that's, haven't seen much of I've I've seen a little bit but not much of it. Shit, they were playing. They were, they were I, have, crazy. I, have, I have I have to go a little bit more. <laughs> we opened open a yeah. little door to him. I was like, ah, yeah, I mean, know everything about it. <laughs> no, I, I don't. I don't. I don't. <laughs> and and by the way, by the way, I gotta say that because. I found my trophy today. It's in the warehouse because we didn't move back what in. What kind of trophy? The trophy that I got sixth place that I beat PK that <laughs> finished ninth. Oh my, this really? is the trophy. It's in it's here. here. Store, man. Yeah. Put it in the front of the store, man. It's in here. <laughs> it, it's just oh, it's a goodness. square thing, you know. It's, I, I showed it to, to, to This is actually because it was only the official race that I raced. Right, uh, and uh, and uh, I found the trophy. How cool! Because I got because in karting you get trophies from first to sixth place, and I found the trophy. Man. Of that race that I beat B. Yeah. We are I so proud of you. Uh, please put your hands together for yes. I'll take it. And, and that's the name, right? Yeah, all flex, yeah, yeah, all flex. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Put those guns are away. Yeah. <laughs> Family show. Yeah. I'll flex. <laughs> I'll flex a bit. And it's my turn to flex. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, good. I flex. found. Yeah. I found the trophy. It's in the warehouse. I'll show you. You gotta, when it. You gotta put it inside, or you know, in front of the store, and say, "I beat Piquet." That's the name of the of the statue. Okay, I beat Piquet. <laughs> <laughs> One day, someone is gonna come here. <laughs> and, and actually, I was reading the trophy. It was the I told you today, right? It was the. Um, it was a championship. Well, it was like four races. I didn't participate on the on the next three because I was not the official racer because my brother was right. When was it? Just I missed it. Because my brother won the championship that year on the local. Oh wait, which year? 94, 93, 94. 1990, okay. Yeah, nineteen ninety four. Uh, and uh, it was a uh, selection of who won the four, uh, who won the championship. You know, between those four races, would get sponsorship, and uh, you know, to get racing. And I think six. So if I I had participated on the all the three and got good results, I could potentially have been sponsored to be you know, like up up to Formula Three. Okay. You know, um, but I didn't. It was the first race, the the first official race because I was just my brother, my brother's mechanic. Um, and uh, I, I got sixth place on that race, and it was an official race that was like selecting the the winner of the that four races uh, in four different states in Brazil would get sponsorship. What was the uh, category? Was karting to start with, okay. and then would move to Formula Four, mm-hmm. and then from Formula Four to Formula uh, 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 the uh, South American. It's, it's called South American mm-hmm. Formula Three, okay. So it's and then in, a Formula Three International, and you get sponsorship to that. You know, if you could, you know, progress. But uh, I only raced that race because it was my hometown at the time, uh, and I just like my brother was like, "Hilton, I just raced and I just raced and won the race." 
So you go qualify, and I qualify in 27th. And I finish six. Wow. And I have the trophy in here. That's awesome. Next podcast, I'll show it. Yeah. I think we should drive some of these days, you know? Like, I would like to see. I would like to see that. Yeah, that'd Wouldn't be really cool. Yeah, that'd be really uh, cool. Actually, I could snap a picture and put on, you know, the picture <laughs> on this part. Yeah. It's more work for, for me because sure. I have to do the dad thing. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, we have a name for this podcast, right? No. I'll, 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 I'll do it next week. I'll show it. I'll show it. Yeah. Yeah. Let's talk about it next week. Yeah. Let's talk about it next week. Oh, yeah. Wow. Right. Right. So. Yeah. It's gonna be. I have the trophy here. Yeah, yeah. We, we talked about it hashtag, before. Like, well, no. hashtag I beat, I beat you. I beat I DK. Yeah. Well, <laughs> you gave father was three times world champion. Did you beat him too? No, well, that's that's the guy. That's that the one. Oh, that's the yeah. It's dad. not. It's not. It's not the son. Oh, it's I not the son. Dad. Oh, okay. Uh, the son might it's be my right cousin beat the son, but not. It's like beating bro, you know, like brony. And yeah. Nah. It's yeah. a family you know, thing. So <laughs> you know, it's a family different. thing. No, they I beat the, 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 the father and my, my, my cousin beat the, the son, you know, or in Formula 3. So they know, they know what Hilton Kill is. They yeah. know so it's, it's a family thing. Yeah. yeah. Well, hey, is this a good place to wrap it up? Yes, yeah. it did. So, so much fun. Let me change the, the angle. Thank you very much for another uh, great time with us, smoking and drinking and having just a great conversation. Uh, again, please like, subscribe, comment, uh, share with your friends. And uh, any other final words from our fellow co hosts? All good. All good. Subscribe. Subscribe. Comment. Have a great night. Have a great night. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs>